Are you even ready? My name is Bianca Wild. I am the meanest, I am the toughest bitch in WAW. And tonight is legacy. Legacy. And I will become the Vixen's champion. And all you little fucking prisses, take a walk on the wild side. Bafanculo Fotida, La Vixens, Cosa Nostra. Oh, look! It's Legacy 2011. It seems like just yesterday. It was Apocalypse 2009. And I'm going to tell you tonight the same thing I did on that very night where I managed to get myself a nice little Vixens title. The best Vixen ever in WAW is not the best wrestler, not the toughest fighter, the smartest, the hottest, and the one with the most connections, Moose. Now, I've been hearing a lot of nonsense about me being a has-been. Oh, I was the president. I was the commissioner. I was this. No, 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 I'm not a has-been. I just move on to bigger things. I'm the manager of champions. And if, by some chance, you Bianca, R.A.V., Serena, Vempi, if you ever, ever manage to take this away from me, there's always going to be one thing that you can't. And that's the fact that I am the longest reigning champion ever. Good night and good luck. The following contest is for the WWE Vixens Championship and will be decided as a six Vixen Elimination Tagging Match. Injury first, accompanied by Chris and Sky, heading from Atlanta, Georgia, is Bianca And uh, last week, of course, we saw Gertie Sheeler make his announcement that Moody Star had to defend her Vixen's championship, and if anybody could take it from her, it is the wild child, the original, the, the, wild, the badass bitch herself, Bianca Wild. By the way, I'm going to the back at the table. Selena Cardinale, oh, you from Glen Ross, Sicily, and Laura Harris from Montreal, Canada. Bring it out to violence! Of course, to get there, she's got to go through these two lovely young ladies. Brand new, but doing very well for themselves. Selena, Little Star, Cardinale, Laura, Stitches Harris, Random Acts of Violence. Entry from Bournemouth to Vermont, it's Serena! And we saw her husband earlier tonight, and now we see Serena Merrick, or sorry, Marinci. We saw her husband is Doug Davis with Eva, and double stomped by Bulletproof Joey Stapel. Well, hopefully she can fare a little better tonight. Again, gold on the line. And she's, she also has done very well for herself. Got some big wins against Bianca. And the fans behind her. And here from Boston, Massachusetts, the hardcore city, Fabrice! Now I will call Bianca the wild child, but this is the original WAW bad girl, Fabrice! And holy crow! Alright. 
who's held on to that title for two years by, uh, well, not defending it, really. That's how she's managed to hold it so long. a little surprised. We don't see any other members of the dynasty escorting her here. Oh, they got their own thing to worry about later on tonight. Captain's in the main event against Troy Garbo. And of course, A.T. Lambo is taking on Johnny Psycho for the pure title winner. I'm getting to Moonstar credit for one thing, if nothing else. She sings her own entrance music. Moonstar sings her own entrance music. That is one thing that the rest of them do not have. And the other thing, by the way, is the Vixen Championship. And championships are remarkably easy to hold on to for a long period of time when you never defend them. Uh, defend them. And you know what? Everyone wants to say freaking Flash the longest WAW champion of a long time. Why is he the longest WAW champion of all time? Hey, Why are you the longest team champion? All right, guys, let's uh, focus on the match here. Moody Star making a smart move, bringing in Bianca. Putting a, putting a warm body between her and anybody else that wants that title off the ropes. Big clothesline. Serena and Bianca, no love lost between these two. All right, here we have what, one, two, three, four, five, six person, excuse me, six Vixen elimination match, submission, pin. And out. monkey flip. Oh, boy. A bunny kick you, actually. <laughs> These two have been mixing it up for quite a while now. Famously and in comes Stalina. Exodus. Uh, before that, one uh, eliminating the other at Lord of the Ring. These two are absolute worst enemies now to Lord of the Ring. The Sicilian Rebellion. And doing some smarts there using her tag team partner. These two are supposed to be. To the, oh, that was a blind tag by Bempi. And oh my god! Oh! Twisted her up! One, two! There it is! It looks a little familiar, of course. If I'm correct, if I'm wrong, Mr. Devil, Mr. Danvers, that is the aim for a first headstone. And a lot of... The way she executes it, that's how it your body. And look at these chops, these two powerhouses. Laura, Shades of Awesome Kong, their Vempress, of course, Twisted Steel and Sex Appeal, just going at it. Juggalette versus a foreigner. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Trying to walk in right here. Wait. Showing her walk. Can she do it? Oh, no. Can't get the power on, on Laura and going in. Spear manages to take her down. One, two, three. trying to get some momentum going and I'll give her credit and wait a minute Vibris up over out oh ladies 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 Serena is not worried about Serena already been eliminated okay there's a match going on in the ring we got Serena wrapping flip three star up she's got the crossover can she do it Miss Moody stops she's a red star the ropes and she taps that's it and it's out we are guaranteed a new well, that looked like tapping, and to me, and Red Guy, and now Serena and Bianca. Oh, Bianca. Oh, big crack! Oh, my God! And Serena! By the way, Moody Star is ran by crying. Where? No, I hate to see her go. Oh, big chop! Leg drop by Bianca Wild. This could be a two. Nope. Bianca is two contenders away from that title. Serena taking a powder, and now here we go. This is the match. Ventress is taking huge advantage of the time to sneak up on and dominate her opponents. And she's going to be the smartest one in the ring. And if she's going to do it, she's going to do it against Bianca again, the wild child. Watch vicious that. as the day comes. And oh, oh my god. Watch a side body splash into the corner. Yeah. And now Serena. Yeah. 
taken over. Bianca has two big enemies here. Uh, uh, Bianca and Vempress have history from like five or six years ago. You know, I, I gotta say though, right here, oh, wait a minute. Bulldog out of the court. No, no, wait! wait Bianca so catches it! And now, uh oh. Bianca has been around for so long and worked so hard to get to where she is. You'd be a little bit longer favorite. She, she's a former team champion. I mean, you cannot take anything away from her. Both of these women in the ring right now. Vepers, I remember one time she got her chest gashed wide open. The referee stopped the match and she kicked the crap out of the referee for stopping the match. Oh, wait a minute. And hold on. Oh, wow. I'm not sure that's beautiful. One, two, three. There it is. Empress eliminated from this match. I can't believe it. And taking in a few Parthenon shots before she goes, but now it's down to Serena and Bianca. Again, no love lost between these ladies. Oh, my God. I know. I Empress home. But this is what it's been building up to. you got to understand, the mean girls... They tried to bring Serena in, and she failed, and so they kicked her out to the side. And double clothesline, but Serena, to her credit, picked up a few moves from the Mean Girls. Definitely shown more aggression, definitely shown more athleticism. And again, taking down Bianca, unfortunately taking herself down. Greg Guy on the count. Can these girls get to their feet? Well, let me tell you something, Mr. Bishop. Mr. Davis, actually, I'll have him tell you. What is Serena's last name? Marenzi. Marenzi. Now, does that ring a bell to anyone watching at home, Marenzi, by any chance? Yes. Six-time team champion. And hold on. Bulldog. I'm uh, sorry, DDT. So, of course, we'll One, win. two. But of course, you can't count Serena out. Her last name is Marenzi. Oh! To Major Morpheus Marenzi. She's picked up a thing or two from her husband, obviously. Well, sir. Let's see him out here because she's out here to prove it for herself. She can do this on her own, and you know what? She absolutely 100% can. I, you want to talk about people that have shown improvement over the last year? Serena has gone leaps and bounds, and it's a shame to me. And now, know. off the first rope, Serena you know getting some momentum. Here she goes. Uppercut. European uppercut. Caught her on the way down. Jaw jacking her. Serena, unfortunately, however much she has improved, well, is at a disadvantage she's here. In the apology, maybe. Oh, and she's logging. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. An apology in right there, middle of the ring. One, two, no, nope, oh, not man. enough. She is still, however, at a disadvantage because Bianca does have one weapon, one wild card to play, and that is Kristen Scott. Oh, Kristen Sky on the outside to help her out. Boston Crab, can she get to the ropes and speak of the she devil? Hey, don't talk about Miss Sky like that. Former, former team champion, however, if, she, if Serena can get to that rope, and Kristen probably trash talking her, and I mean the power on Bianca, oh my, has got to back into a one leg, had enough, I guess she gets to the ropes. Kristen, there it is. Can't do anything about it. She's outside the ring. No man's. And what is what going is on here? Oh, one, one and two, three. There it is. Your winner, the new fiction champion. the Vixen's Championship. The Mean Girls got some gold now. And uh, Kristen taking out the trash. 